everyone! This video is gonna be rather different than the others because I will answer a question you guys ask me a lot. In this video I will show you how I practice guitar. This question, I get this question quite of under every of my covers and Actually, it's nothing special how I practice, I guess I do it like everyone else. First thing is I choose a song that I like, obviously, that is fun to play or a challenge to play. And the most important thing is that you like the song, that you love it, because you cannot force yourself to play something you don't want. Simple as that. And so I decided to show you my practicing progress on the Vivaldi tribute by Patrick Ronda. I don't know if he's pronounced correctly. Because I think this is such a great interpretation of Vivaldi. It sounds so amazing. His version has so much emotion and I really want to kind of expand my technique with practicing this song. And it, as it sounds so beautiful, it's a beautiful challenge. <laughs> Okay, what I used to practice is, of course, my guitar, an audio interface or my amplifier, which is broken at the moment and needs to get repaired. And I use Tux Guitar, that's a freeware program you can download when you Google it. And in this program you can read guitar profiles. These are tabs for guitar that, can sh that show you how you play a certain song like this here. So what you can see here, some different parts and I try to memorize the song first before I play it. So sometimes it happens that I just forget what I have to play and have to recheck it. That's completely normal. And the most awesome thing of programs such as this one is that you can alter the speed of the song. So you have here this small clock and you can choose when it's to fast for you some kind of half of the speed and try to play along the song. That's not, nothing else than I do. So I start with a tempo or with beats per minute that are appealing to my playing right at the time that I start practicing. <laughs> so you can imagine this song has 160 beats per minute and I started at 40 beats per minute because it's completely different to what I'm used to play and so I really had to start from zero. It's nearly the slowest velocity you can just choose in Tux guitar. And so I just kept practicing, but I'm more than happy once I can play the song and the result sounds cool. So have fun with this video of me. <laughs> But still, mistakes are coming in. These are 130 beats per minute. And it's still okay, but you see that it gets a bit untidy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
has seen the passage for 140 beats per minute. It gets also a bit sloppier, but I just try to come as close as possible to the original speed to see where the passages are that I need to practice more often or if I can ever reach the original speed. What we have now is the passage for 150 beats per minute. It's getting again a bit sloppier, but the speed of the picking is getting in the right way. speed of 160 beats per minute but you can also hear the maximum of sloppiness <laughs> yes this results because I cannot play the song properly at that speed that's obvious and when I have climbed this ladder of 120 130 140 150 160 beats per minute I start back again at the starting speed because then your fingers have some kind of training after them and you can play some passages more properly. And this is everything I do for exercising myself with playing songs. I also try to play along the original song from time to time to check what techniques the original guitarist uses. What I will show you now is how I practice a certain passage because you have to memorize the song first, check what passages need some work and then you have to restart at a really really slow speed to get a clean playing ability of the passage you want to practice. And so I have 
recorded this small practice session for you. I normally start at 70 to 80 beats per minute depending on the song and then climb like 5 beats per minute every step. with the beats per minute here in Tux guitar but as you can observe I get sloppier and sloppier with every five beats per minute so what I then do is just re-practicing it from slow like where I started 80 where it was still okay but if I can if I encounter some mistakes then I will decrease the speed even more like to 50, 60, whatever to get it really clean and not that sloppy like you've heard now. So I hope you've enjoyed this different video of mine. I didn't came up with a guitar cover but I really hope I could answer some of your questions and if you have more questions and want a video about a certain topic just be sure to write it in the comments below. I'm always reading the comments to get some inspiration what you guys want to see on my channel. Stay tuned and rock on!